Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at audit selections, the third lesson in the uh, probability series for Year 12 General 2. Is a bit challenging, um, certainly put together with the next lesson it will be probably causing a bit of confusion, but hopefully we'll try and uh, rectify that. Okay, so at the moment I've got some notes in here. Don't worry too much about what's on here. I'm just going to talk about an example to start with. Um, let's say for example, there is there are also there are six people in a, in a running race. Now, previously we've been asked to find out how many combinations, so how many combinations that they can finish in. Okay, so we've done things like the place value, 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1, because 6 people can win, then 5 people can come second, 4, 3, Two, one. Can you remember the other quick way that we could call that? Hopefully we remember that would be the same as 6 factorial. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. We've done that. So what's different about these questions? Well, what these questions will say, let's say for part A, we'll say, call this part B, we'll say how many ways can um, we have first second and third okay so that's a little bit more interesting because this time we're not looking at the whole um, sort of results we're only now looking at just the first three places so basically what we're looking at is the first three places we've got six people can win the first um, come first then five and then four so in this case, we're going to do 6 times 5 is 30, 30 times 4 is 120. Therefore, we'd say there would be 120 different combinations for first, second, and third. Okay. Now, you'll notice I've got this NPR business. Now, some of you may have been taught by your teachers the NPR and the NCR. What we're talking about when we're talking about an ordered selection, we're actually talking about something called a permutation. This is where order does matter. For example, here we've said that if, let's, or let's say we would give some names to this. Let's say we have Tom and we have Callum and we have um, Randy. Now, if Tom comes first and Callum comes second and Randy comes third, is that a different combination to Callum coming first, Tom coming second, and Randy coming third? Are they different? And you would absolutely say, yes, they are certainly different because in the first one, Tom came first. In the second one, Callum came first. That is why we say that order matters. It does matter who comes first, second, and third. There will be cases where we'll be choosing a group of three people to represent others. And if I looked at this as a group, this grouping is the same grouping as the one below. That is where we get to questions where order does not matter. And that would be considered the same combination Therefore, we would only want to count it once. So you can see why it starts to get just a little bit complicated. But this whole NPR business, because this is called a permutation or order matters, it does matter who comes first, second, third, you can use the NPR button, which we would type in. There are six people to choose from. I would press my NPR button, and I'm saying I'm going to be choosing just three people. Now your NPR button is usually above either the, I think it's above the um, the times on your calculator, so shift times, but if you press six, your NPR button and three, it will come up with 120. So again, if you choose your six, your NPR, so shift times and press three, it will come up with your 120. So it's just a quick way of doing it. However, my personal uh, preference is actually doing it this way. I think it brings a bit more meaning, but it's up to you. Let's have a look at some questions, guys. 
A business is selecting a chairperson and a deputy. Okay, so a chairperson and a deputy chairperson. That's like having someone coming first and someone coming second. Therefore, automatically what I'd be thinking about, that order matters, therefore this is called a permutation. All right. Now, the nominations are Adam, Caitlin, Jake, Ben, and Lucy. The chairperson is selected first, then the deputy chairperson. How many different combinations are possible? Well, I'd be saying I'm choosing two people. I've got one, two, three, four, five people to choose from. So five people could be the chairperson. Once they are chosen, I have four people left, which gives me 20 combinations in total. Likewise, I could have um, written in five and I could have pressed my NPR button and I'm choosing two people and that would have given me that 20. Part B, what is the probability, probability of Lucy being elected as the chairperson and Adam as the deputy chairperson? Well, if Caitlin is selected first, and so if Lucy is selected first, then Adam is selected second, there's only one way that I can have Lucy then Adam. Okay, out of all the possibilities, that's only one way it can happen. Therefore, I've got one out of 20 as my probability. Okay, number three, or example six. The first, second, and third speakers in a debate are selected randomly from a group of seven students. Okay, you can see they've used the first, second, third. Therefore, again, it's an ordered selection, which means that this is called a permutation or order does matter. So order does matter. All right. So how many different selections are possible? Okay, so again, I'd say, well, I'm, got, I'm choosing three people, first, second, third, first, second, and third. Therefore, I've got seven people can be chosen first, then six, and then five. Um, so six times five is 30. 30 times seven is 210. Once again, if you're using the NPR button, you've got seven people to choose from. NPR on your calculator, so shift times, pressing then the three because you're choosing three of them, and that again will give you that 210. Now, Jack was in a group of seven students and selected as the first speaker. How many different selections are possible for the second and third speakers? This is why I like to place value. So what I'm going to do, I've got my first, my second, and my third. Now, in my first position, we've already chosen Jack. So I've then got six people to choose from to come second, five people to choose from to come third. Therefore, I've got 30 people to choose from now. Now, if you wanted to do the NPR style, um, which is a bit more difficult in a question like this, you could probably take it as a selection of six people to choose from, NPR, and you're only choosing two. You're just choosing second and third. Again, if you do um, six and then shift times, and then your two, you should come up with your answer of 30. Chloe was in a group of seven students and selected as the second speaker. How many different selections are possible in the third speaker? Okay, so once again, we've got first, second, and third. We've already got um, the jack in the first position, close in the second. So now I've just got five people to choose from for the third. Therefore, five is my answer. Or likewise, I've got five people to choose from. I've got five NPR, and then I'm just choosing one person. So it's just five times one is five. What is the probability of Jack, Chloe, and Kerry being selected from the group of seven students? Well, there's only one combination to have Jack, Chloe, and Kerry, therefore, I've got one out of 210 people to choose from. Okay, next question. The position of president, secretary, and treasurer. That's the same as having first, second, and third. Therefore, order matters. Therefore, it's a permutation. And I want to include all the results. Um, Chosen from a committee of five people. How many ways can we ch um, choose this? Well, we've got three people being chosen, five people, then four people, then three people. So that's 20 times three is 60. So therefore, it's C60. Likewise, five NPR, 
3 equals 60. And my last question, I believe, oh, no, didn't put a last question on. That was my last question. Okay, so hopefully you've got an idea of ordered selection. It's all about order, obviously. So looking at first, second, and third, if you're using permutation buttons on the calculator, then this will relate to the NPR button. Okay, only if you're using it. Otherwise, use a place value. Remember, because order matters, you are including all the selections. Now, that might be a little bit strange at the moment. When you look at the next lesson on unordered selections, that will become very clear because sometimes you'll count the same combination twice and you'll want to have less. But at the moment, permutation includes everything. So either NPR or do your place value and it's just multiply the options together. Hopefully this made sense, guys. Have a crack at these questions, really, really important. And then definitely look at the next lesson on unordered selections, which will probably confuse you, but hopefully not. See you then.